Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 26th of 2024 is titled, A Solar Filament Erupts. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of a portion of our sun, and we can see some of the signs of solar activity. Now solar activity is associated with our sun's magnetic field. And we can see some of that here as the loops of material, especially up toward the top in the yellow there, you can see loops of material which are which are parts of the plasma of the surface of the sun material following along magnetic field lines. So they highlight the magnetic field what the magnetic field would be invisible other otherwise, just like Earth's magnetic field is passing right through us, but we can't see it unless we put something in there that aligns with those magnetic field lines. So things like a compass will do that and will line up with the magnetic field lines and show us the direction of the magnetic field. Here on the sun, it's the plasma that does that. Now, the magnetic field can do things like lift material off the surface of the sun. And it can do that very gently, as here we see in some of these uh, filaments, or it can actually rip material off. And this is what had happened is that we had the solar filament. And this was back in 2012. That had been present on the sun. And suddenly, the magnetic field became stronger and ripped out material off the surface of the sun. Now when it expels that material out into space and large amounts of material, we call that a coronal mass ejection. And that is when lots of charged particles are expelled out into space. Now in this case, it could happen that some of it arrived towards headed towards Earth and arrived at Earth just a few days later. When those charged particles do that, they impact the Earth's magnetic field and distort it a little bit. The charged particles will follow along the magnetic field lines of Earth just like they did here on the Sun. And they will then impact Earth's atmosphere, not all over the globe, but only near the North and South magnetic poles, which gives us the aurora. The stronger the coronal mass ejection, the more the magnetic field is deformed and the lower latitudes at which we will see the aurora. Now this was back in 2012 at the last peak of the solar cycle. And of course, we've looked at many images recently that the sun is very active again. And we had some very active sunspot groups throwing off again coronal mass ejections that gave us a number of beautiful aurora. And we've looked at a number of those pictures over the past couple a couple of weeks. And that will continue to occur over the next year or two as the sun remains at near the peak of its activity. So it will have far more sunspots and far more activity like this. And then after that, it will start to wind it down again. The number of sunspots will start to decrease. The solar activity will decrease and we will work our way toward a minimum. And that goes on about every 11 years where the sun will reach a peak and then will go back down and then come back up to its next peak about 11 years later. It can vary a little bit because the sun is not completely predictable in this, but it's roughly been about every 11 years since the mid 1700s. So here we get to see one of those very large coronal mass ejections being ripped off the surface of the sun and ch sending charged particles out into space. So that was our picture of the day for May 26th of 2024. It was titled a solar filament erupts. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.